Good evening, this is Stephen. Let's dip into my world briefly so you know what to look out for in yours. Um, firstly, I'd like to thank everyone who um, sent goodwill messages on the passing of Bobby the Cat. Um, I don't own a black tie uh, because none of my family, luckily for me, have passed as yet. That includes uh, other branches, the Porter family and the Hall family are all doing well. So I do not, at this time, own a funeral tie. Um, but I just wanted to show some respect for the passing of a good friend and a dear companion, which was uh, Bobby the Cat. And it sounds daft, but he was a piece of my life. And hopefully I was a piece of his short life for him. Moving on, um, things to look out for in your world would be London Reels broadcast of an interview coming August 23rd with David Icke. Uh, it will be at 5pm UK time. The way I gather it so far... Uh, it will be broadcast from his platform, London Reel. Uh, you may have to subscribe your email address, but I do suggest you do. Uh, it is, uh, every time David I goes on this show, things change for the better. And I'm looking forward to this interview. Um, they, they, they don't just change better for me. Um, they they change better for this country. Um, David Icke is obviously um, not well, well received by everyone. But of course, in a world where freedom of speech is um, in a battle, uh, it's worth it's worth a listening to. Also, uh, this evening we have the Joe Rogan show. Uh, at 3 a.m. I do intend to stay up and watch it live on Netflix. So that's 3 a.m. tonight live on Netflix. Uh, let's hope um, Joe's on form. I could do with a good laugh. It's been a, a, a week and a half. And I just want to have a beer and watch Joe Rogan and enjoy a chuckle. I really, really do. Um now, what I wanted to discuss more than anything was I watched a video earlier today on YouTube with uh, Tommy Robinson. He'd just finished a gym session. Um, he, he was expressing his thoughts on, you know, developments in the UK and he was discussing developments on um, Sunderland and, of course, Southport after the tragic loss there. Um, and I was, I was almost in. I was almost in. Uh, and then he said he's training because the country at the moment is more like a trailer for a movie and the movie is yet to come and he was hinting at a civil war and i've got to be honest i've got to be honest things are worth fighting for they really are um if you look back through history, not a lot has changed since the Roman era. In fact, you know, we're all fighting over the price of bread. That happened in the Roman era. Now we're watching the UFC, which is almost like a global coliseum where gladiators battle themselves. But we're just living in this time um, thinking, you know, 
everything's going to go well, but it's just history repeating itself. And we are reliving the Roman Renaissance, but with light bulbs, that's exactly what's going on. This time, though, we've got mobile phones rather than scrolls and the information is packing quick is passing from one human to another quicker uh, and so the fury and the flames burn brighter quicker as bad news spreads but also worth thinking about is education spreads education spreads just as quick through as many people if they're willing to learn those particular points pointed out to them. For instance, um, I have no children, so I, I do not have the ability to discuss what is happening at schools these days, but I can probably guess that cryptocurrency is not on the curriculum. And so therefore, I've had to learn it myself through YouTube. Uh, some of the best channels to learn from will be the uh, Cryptos Are Us channel on YouTube. It's, it's absolutely great. Uh, and also looking at MBSM, the news channel, they keep up to date with cryptocurrencies. And when you watch these crypto channels, you find that the outlook to the world is good. They are looking at technology. They are looking at currencies. They are looking at the way human beings interact, how this interaction can make money through deals. And... It is a great joiner together of communities. It really, really is. We're all in the same boat. We're all paying taxes. We're all paying um, prices that seem a little higher than, um, you know, before my electricity bill has gone from £60 to 120 in a month. But I do believe that's because I've bought a steam and I've got it in the spare room. But I'm willing to pay that. I, I, I enjoy the steam. I need my steam. Uh, so I'm going to class that as a necessity. Uh, but of course, things are going up. Cars are getting wider. Streets have not got wider to accommodate the cars. Uh, everything's still kind of relying on... Um, all kinds of things apart from common sense, you know, uh, as quick as they fill potholes in the roads, they need to make the roads wider to accommodate these um, trends that we're experiencing right now. And they need to look at the fact that uh, cars were uh, just literally getting banged about because they're passing each other. They're not even like crashing anymore. They're just parking in car parks, all that kind of stuff. And it's affecting a lot of things, including insurances, which adds costs, which is all adding pressure to the way the country works. Bobby was run over on a road not far from here and um i'm so grateful for my neighbor at number 36 um when i looked at the camera bobby was in bed at 4 a.m it was on my bed uh and she rang at seven and told me that she discovered uh bobby and asked permission if he could be removed from the road, which I thought was a beautiful human touch. I really did. And, um, you know, this allowed Bobby to remain 
and run over multiple times. Um, I then collected Bobby from the neighbour at number 36. Um, she had my phone number from his collar and she rang me while I was at work and I drove over and picked up Bobby and put him in the car and drove straight to a vet. A part of me thought he might be alive and he might be in a coma. And as graphic as this sound, he was bleeding from his ears. Uh, and when I got to the vets, I got there about half past seven. I had to wait another half an hour for the vets to open. I got into the vet, Bobby had passed. He was definitely, definitely passed before I got there. I don't know why I just said that, but he had passed away. Anyway, I then took the car um, to a car valet to get the seat cleaned. And the one thing I asked of the valet was, could you clean the seat for me? I, I said, could you clean the seat for me? Uh, we've just lost a, pa a family pet. I don't know why I said that, but I just said, I've, I've just lost a family pet and I don't want to take the car home in this state. Of course, was the answer. And the cleaners cleaned the car with a vacuum, uh, which basically just rubbed the debris into the seat and I cleaned it myself when I got home. At first I was a bit annoyed uh, because I'd paid them. I, I saw the stain and I just paid them anyway because I wanted to go home. I'd finished a 12 hour shift and I, I'd asked the question, it had been done, so I just paid them, brought the car home and cleaned the seat myself. And I realized it wasn't the fault perhaps of the valet it was the fact that i couldn't ask of them what i needed in polish and i i i think education is something we all need in various forms of life i think this whole business now with tommy robinson and illegal immigration he is right, he is right. This is just the trailer and the movie is coming. But it's our job not to get fit and get violent and get ready for a civil war. Uh, true men fight with their minds. It's why chess was invented. It's why um, soldiers played soccer during wartime and generals and sergeants and their superiors played rugby because it was a different mind thing between the two games and I think this country needs to realize we are uneducated we've allowed immigration to prosper while the Thatcher era and the likes of Theresa May were in power. We just let them get on with it. We were getting paid for uh, minimum wages and we accepted that. And we took our minimum wages to nightclubs. We took our minimum wages to um, drug dealers and we got fucked at the end of the month. Whereas large majorities of uh, people coming in through immigration, whether that be a Muslim, uh, whether that be, um, I don't know, um, uh, Albanian or something like that. When they arrive, they work hard. The first thing they learn is the language and they get themselves to night school, to colleges and they better themselves so they can send the money home. Um, I've worked in a lot of jobs, a lot of jobs 
uh, and one of the things the two jobs I have worked in and enjoyed a lot were the window cleaning traveling around the country cleaning windows and it was also for a company called prop wash which was a valet company for uh, private aeroplanes and I got to saw the extravagance of the one percent the people that um, trained their minds as well as trained their um, abilities you know um, it doesn't hurt to learn a foreign language it doesn't hurt to communicate in fact it can bring businesses as well as families together and I think that's what we need to do now we need to count our losses we need to obviously obviously um create a border control not every immigrant coming in has the best of intentions but not every person who is english is living with the best of intentions for the country uh, and so you have to weigh these things up and you have to kind of organize yourself into a strategy of what suits you best and this involves relinquishing anger and looking at future sustainable projects like cryptocurrency and it also means uh, looking at things like Dubai Dubai is not showing any signs of civil unrest they are not having presidential assassinations in fact Dubai is enjoying a very successful renaissance looking at the very things we are not they are looking at cryptocurrencies they are looking at future technologies and they are looking at ways of coexisting with the elements around them unfortunately and this is where I'm going to love and leave you um, during my travels I had a conversation uh, I think it, I'm pretty sure it was in Egypt I'm pretty sure it was in Egypt and I had a conversation with someone in, in, in a bar who uh, was Egyptian I don't know what his religion or his faith was but I, I was talking to um, an Egyptian and the Egyptian asked me a question and this was in about 2010 the Egyptian asked me uh, if I knew the difference between a uh, communist and a um, capitalist and I said I really can't answer that I've never given it a thought I, I don't know um, uh, thinking that communists were you know some kind of um, well right wing kind of Nazi impression I get when I think of what a communist is uh, but this Egyptian, uh, Egyptian explained the difference between a communist and a capitalist is a communist knows he's a prisoner and he makes the best of what he can do with the circumstances he is living in a capitalist has not accepted the fact that he's a prisoner and so they live in this delusion and this delusion is really coming to bear now we are not in a world of shit all we have to do is educate ourselves we really do we have to educate what we um, think we know like languages I worked uh, 
I worked in so many places around the world, in Europe, but I didn't have to learn their languages because I was working in British-run hotels in a European country. And so the clientele coming in was British and English and, you know, uh, there was no need to uh, learn the language, although um, there the were interpreters there and whatnot. And when I worked for the NHS, one of the best paid jobs in the NHS is an interpreter. An interpreter can earn up to £80 an hour in the NHS. Uh, and also, when I was arranging appointments for a doctor, the doctor would um, sit, obviously, the interpreter and the next patient outside the office and I would ask them if they want a drink. Uh, I got to know the interpreters because the patients would come in on a regular basis. The interpreters were also working in courtrooms and they were uh, being paid an extra income from working in court. There's so much we think we know and there is so much more we do not. And uh, yes, I'm going to um, educate myself in fitness. I have an archery lesson coming up. Um, but I'm doing these things not because I think of a civil war is coming. The archery will take me into the outdoors and it will teach me how to hunt, which would be um, a very needy asset in a world without electricity and without the internet and uh, it would also teach me some ground rules for being a man and that's why I'm going to learn that and I just wanted to again um, discuss faith as well um, faith is something uh, I questioned while I was at work. I sat and had a coffee with a colleague and I explained uh, that my faith had been tested over a period of time, losing business, uh, losing uh, friends and whatnot. Uh, and life had become a lot more complicated since I became a Christian and I believed that each one of these was a stepping stone of me being tested. I had that conversation at about 1am. I looked at the camera and Bobby was in bed at about 4 a.m. Um, about 5 a.m. I looked at the camera and Bobby had gone out and uh, basically this is his normal time. He's following his normal patterns. He always gets me up at about 4 a.m. if I've locked the flap. That's why the flap was open and at seven o'clock, I got a phone call from a good, kindly neighbour who read his collar, got my number and called me. And I find it quite exquisite that it happened on the same hours as I questioned my faith. And I find myself... A colder person, I find myself a colder person today, more weary of what I put into the universe with my thoughts uh, in case there are bigger things going on in the universe that I do not yet understand. 
um, I'm going to look at purchasing two more um, kittens. I would like a black and white kitten that I would call Bobby Jr. And I would like a ginger kitten that I would call Blur. And um, I would like to thank everyone once again for supporting the dip supporting yourselves and supporting this country of ours thank you very much for your um attention i i really thought you know no one was watching but the support of losing bobby means there are friends and loved ones out there watching so thank you very much and i'll see you soon bye bye now bye